All right, YouTube, this is Detroit's HPTV. Come to you Sunday morning, the 28th, 8.30. Before y'all go to church and do your Sunday thing, we got to talk about Joe Biden going on Howard Stern saying he's going to debate Trump. Now, you know the Democrats feel like he went off script. He was never supposed to say that he would debate Trump anywhere because we know that Biden really, he couldn't debate a five-year-old. At this point, he makes so many mistakes when he says something. He was talking about it was June 6th of his so-called insurrection he was talking about. He said it was in June. He said he went, he was going to a meeting that he had already went to a couple of days prior. He said he was going to that meeting and knew what he was going to say. So if he forgot that he even went to a meeting, that's sad. Then he said he got arrested in Soweto, Africa, going to see Nelson Mandela, which was a lie. Then he said he was a civil rights icon. We know that was a lie because he created segregation laws with uh, Strom Thurmond and Bird. You know what I mean? He was hanging out with his buddies that were segregationists and Klan members. So at this point, I'm asking black people, why would y'all vote for Joe Biden? Cause just because he said, if y'all don't vote for him, y'all ain't black, so y'all going to vote for him. Because he said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black, so y'all want to be black so bad <laughs> that y'all going to vote for him. He ain't said, if you don't vote for me, you're not American. You see, he playing a race card with y'all. He playing a mind game. He ain't say, if you don't vote for me, you're not an American, or you don't support, support democracy. He said, you ain't black. But yet he said that if his children went to school with black children, it'd be a racial jungle. He said that you was super predators who had to be brought to heel. He done said so much against black people and created so much legislation. I can't believe that black people, y'all would still vote for him. And the only thing he offer y'all is abortion. He offer you abortion while he's still saying that Americans' birth rate is down. So he's opening the borders and then telling you to abort your kid. At this point, it's, in, it's, it's, it's a kind of insanity when you look at Bidenomics, when you can't afford bridge, you can't afford rent, you can't afford the, the basic necessities. You're competing with immigrants for everything. He opens the border to replace you, and yet you still get mad when somebody criticizes him about his own behavior. That's some type of uh, brainwashing, really brainwashing. And then they be calling people that support Trump bootlicks and sellouts. Man, all the bootlicks is on the Democratic plantation. Y'all don't see it? All the bootlicks is over there. They don't want to leave. They don't even realize that it was Republicans that Lincoln was the president of that party. So at what point do we just pay attention? But if he debates Trump like he said he is, then we're going to get a chance to see. I don't believe they're going to let Joe Biden get on the stage and debate Donald Trump. He can't even follow the teleprompter. You understand what I'm saying? He can't even remember where he's been. So whoever really be pulling the strings, who's really running this country, they mad that he said that because Trump comes right back out and say, I debate him. I debate him coming out the courthouse. At this point, you can send your kid out there to debate Joe Biden. But before I do any more commentary, let's get into the clip I want y'all to see. And I want y'all to see how this Democratic shield tries to protect Biden's image. You know, they always go get a sister too. This is going to be a black woman. She's going to be like, oh. You know, we're the voice of reason over here. That's the voice of treason over there. But they're going to go get a black woman like they do all the time. So check out this clip. It's for fair usage under the 1976 Copyright right Act for educational purposes and commentary. Y'all, watch this. Political panel, Biden DNC delegate and Democratic strategist Desiree Tams 
from Ohio. Love that. Along with Republican representative from the great state of New York, Claudia Tenney. Uh, I want to begin with you, Desiree. I want to get your reaction to uh, the president continues to have uh, interesting. Con now, I'm going to say this one more time. You notice how they always find a black woman when, when, they, when they send somebody out to defend Donald Trump? You think that's by coincidence that it's always a black woman that comes out there and sings Joe Biden's praises and goes against Trump? Check out this again. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I ain't going to interrupt you no more. Conversations. Some people would suggest he's lost a step, a little bit off the fastball. Here's what he told Howard Stern about attending the dinner tomorrow night when, in fact, he's referring to a dinner he attended last month. Listen to this. I'm doing the Gridiron Dinner on Saturday. Right. And one of the things, the serious thing I'm going to say at the Gridiron Dinner is that, the, you know, paraphrasing Jefferson, he said the choice between what we have and a, and a free press, I'd pick a free press. Listen, anybody can misspeak. It happens to all of us. Okay, let me interrupt one more time. Now, remember, they just told you he already went to the event and already spoke a month ago. He's saying he's going to go and speak. He forgot he even went. Then he's talking about a free press when they're censoring everything, banning TikTok. Uh, you can't say this. You can't say that. You know, taking the First Amendment, Eighth Amendment, Fourteenth Amendment right to due process. But I mean, at this point, Joe Biden just say anything to y'all, anything y'all don't correct, y'all don't question it. Y'all just y'all just give him a pass. Why? Why do y'all give him a pass? Why y'all? Why he's selling this country out to the highest bidder, giving all those foreign governments all the money? while he's letting the citizens starve? Y'all still support that? At this point, you really got to tell me why you would support this Biden administration. It makes no sense. How concerned are you as a Democrat? I know you have to say the right thing and wave the flag, but between us. Are you concerned at all when you hear things like that, where this sort of seems to happen a lot lately? I'm not concerned. Um, the reality is the president is very busy. He has a very busy schedule, and there's a lot happening in the world. Um, so I think he may You see how she comes right out there making excuses? He's very busy, and, you know, he's a president, so if he forgot that he went someplace a month ago and he's thinking he's going to go back, that's not a problem. Really? How many of y'all, if y'all say y'all forgot that it was Monday tomorrow and y'all forgot to go to work until Tuesday, would that be okay with your boss, the people you work for? Well, I forgot. I forgot uh, today was Monday. You know, I thought I was supposed to be here uh, Tuesday afternoon. See how she comes right in making excuses? Watch how she makes all excuses. Clearly, they sent her for optics spoke he did sort of clean it up there and talk about the the free free press and so obviously he knows he's going to the the white house correspondence dinner and i'm sure he's preparing his jokes in his entire routine um both presidents former presidents but they're up in age they have senior moments i have senior moments um and so i think yeah it's a gap and we kind of wish he didn't have those but it happened and he cleaned it up so he did his best to clean it up i thought you handled that well uh, speaking of freedom of the press i'm going to get your reaction to this and yours as well uh, Congresswoman Tenney, this is actually a statement from the New York Times, and they're talking about this idea of a free press, when in fact this president seems to continue to refuse to be available for interviews. This is from the Times. For anyone who understands the role of the free press in a democracy, it should be troubling that President Biden has so actively and effectively avoided questions from independent journalists during his term. Mr. Biden has granted far fewer press conferences and sit-down interviews with independent journalists than virtually all of his predecessors. I know this is a little political, uh, Claudia, but at least from my perspective, I think there's a very good point to be made by the Times here. It's almost as if the White House is keeping him in the basement. I think that's absolutely true, and it's even more astounding coming from the New York Times. And look, the New York Times is no, normally somewhat of a pop propaganda 
megaphone for the Democrats. And that's what you're, you know, that's why President Biden needs to get out there. But of course, we know when he gets out there, it's a rambling commentary. And the, the idea of him debating President Trump right now uh, would probably be a very, very uh, difficult situation. Now, remember, these two faced each other in, in debates in, in, in the last election, but President Trump actually had COVID, which we found out later in his first debate. And he was also president and probably didn't take Biden as seriously as he should. But now, you know, I'm looking at Biden and I think Trump would eat him alive. And I don't mean to reference, you know, Uncle Bozy getting killed uh, by cannibals. I mean, this is going to be a terrible situation for Biden and really could risk. Oh, we forgot that one. He said his uncle was eaten by cannibals. What color do you think those cannibals was <laughs> that Joe Biden accused of eating up his uncle? Hmm. Well, I'm just asking. So they like to play the race card. What color was the cannibals, Joe? The so-called cannibals, the alleged cannibals that allegedly ate your uncle. Tell us what color they were. You just you just accuse us of everything. So we really would be super predators if we was just out here just eating people, right? The presidency, if he were to actually debate President Trump, who is actually obviously much more able, more humorous, more genu genuine than career politician filled with stale talking points like Joe Biden. What's going to have his work really cut out. I, I want to share a very quick montage, uh, some false statements in that uh, Howard Stern interview. I know I'm picking on you a little bit, Desiree, but you're tough. You can take it. Listen to what the president said, and maybe you can help him clean up some of his, um, call them misstatements. Listen. Anyway, besides, I used to drive an 18 wheeler. He got shot down in New Guinea. And uh, they never found the body because there used to be there a lot of cannibals for real in that part of New Guinea. Browns are in New York. And I remember standing there the next day and looking at the building. I felt like I was looking through the gates of hell. None of that's real. Uh, where's all this coming from? And how do you as a strategist try to move around it when they have these gaps? I think we focus on the Biden wins, and the reality is Biden's policy agenda is extremely strong um, and has been really successful. So when we talk to voters on the ground in the base. I can't believe that the only thing these people want is abortion and to change the gender and identity of their children. I can't believe that's policy. You know what I mean? You know, I'm almost 60 years old, and I would think that our people would want more than abortion and somebody messing with their kids. She's talking about the Biden win. I'm talking about when they send these women, these black women, to defend Biden after everything Biden has said and what he's doing to our community, he's sending all the, the, the illegal immigrants to our communities while he's cutting our benefits, playing with the numbers, talking about it ain't no inflation when it is, when we're when we being crushed economically, being overran. She comes out and says, the Biden wins. I want her to name one. They're excited about what Joe Biden is doing for them. They aren't as concerned with the gaps or uh, any things, they, what is he any doing? situations where he may have misspoke. What they like is what he's doing for them and how he's delivering. And so I think if there is a debate, which I think there should be a debate, mm. I am fully prepared to see Joe Biden win that debate. He was strong even when President Obama had his debates and didn't have. We know that's a bald faced lie. She does not believe that. That is a lie. There's no way she thinks that, the, that Joe Biden would do good with, in any debate. You, you, I, you just seen the clips, didn't you? There's no way she believes that. So how could you trust this media? She says, I have no doubt that Joe Biden would do, he'll win in the debate. How? You're going to have to find a stunt double. Great, nice. Joe Biden came and swooped in um, and sort of laid down the hammer. So I, I feel pretty confident when we put Lies. Joe Biden up against Donald Trump in a debate. Lies. Congresswoman Tenney, last 15 seconds. Uh, uh, Desiree says, all systems go. Uh, I, I kind of would like to see it myself. What say you? Uh, 
I think it would, it's going to be great television, but I think President Trump is going to be proved to everyone that we were better off under President Trump and the policies of President Biden are reflected in the polls. He's at almost his worst level in his entire presidency and one of the worst uh, polling numbers that we've seen in, in a president in the modern era. So President Trump's, uh, you know, we're seeing gas prices rising, you're seeing inflation continuing to persist, and, and uh, we're seeing Americans struggling all across even upstate New York, where we have high taxes and, and the middle class is getting carved out and really hurting under President Biden. That's why you see even people who might not like President Trump, uh, they might not like it, you know, him personally, but they love his policies. And uh, I think that everyone's looking for the, the debate between the two of them. It's going to be uh, definitely an event. Well, that union uh, member speaking earlier this week spoke, I think, for lots of folks, perhaps. Uh, Congresswoman, it's always a pleasure. Desiree, great to have you in the studio with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe. Y'all seen how Desiree got on there live? Anybody who, who's watching my reaction to this, you know I'm telling the truth. She didn't believe anything that she said. Who believes that Joe Biden would really do good in a debate with anybody. If you think so, just say, put it in the chat. Let's see who you are. If you think, if you really willing to, to, to lie like Desiree and say, you believe that Joe Biden would do good debate, put it in the chat. I dare you. I dare you say you believe that Joe Biden can win in the debate. Enjoy your Sunday. Signing out of Detroit. Peace. Keep your head on the swivel. Salute to all the patriots. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.